Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody. Before we get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform and I really do appreciate their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to install the fuel reloaded mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So like always make sure that you do download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. Once you have completed that, then download the engine overheats reloader mod as well. And now I will leave this inside my description below. So let's get started. Once you have finished downloading and installing all of your requirements, go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now next, make sure that you do create a skits folder if you do not have one. If you do not have one, simply right click and create a new folder and name that folder scripts. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder. Now native UI.dll and .xml is required as well. So make sure that you do install those two files. Once you have done that, then open up your extract folder. Go to your FR folder. And now to select all the files except for the text file. Then drag it inside your scripts folder. Then exit out of your extract folder. Now open up your EOR extract folder. Go to this folder. Select all the files except for the text files. Then drag it inside your scripts folder. Now exit out of your extract folder. Go to your Creative Audio V. Then right click. Refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are back and now we are in the game so now when you're in the game okay you will need a vehicle obviously but I've got my vehicle here. Now when you jump in the vehicle you, as you can see you cannot see the bar, you can see it down the bottom on your left hand side a little bit. But if you cannot see your petrol bar, then all you got to do is go to your settings. So let's go to our pause menu, then go to your settings, then go to your display, then go to safe zone size, and now just bring it down maybe a little bit over here somewhere, and then back up. And now, as you can see down the bottom on my left hand side, it's really small. You can see your um, petrol tank bar so let's go and drive okay now I will get alert saying that my petrol is low so I'm just going to let the car go and just keep driving until it says my petrol is low now we're back again so as you can see on the top on the left hand side it says low fuel so we will need to get to the petrol station so let's go and stop on the side for a bit. Pause menu. Now, as you can see, there's a few icons over here that will show you the petrol stations around the map. Okay. Now, now apparently I already passed one, so I'm going to go to this one over here, as it is close by. So let's go over there and fill up our tank. So let's just do a U-turn and go over here. Now we will need to go to the petrol station and fill up our 
tanks. Now, if you do not fill up your tank, okay, then your motor will overheat and break down. So, it's like in real life, but yeah. Alright, then let me just stop here and just reverse. And then come over here, move. Now, let's go over here and fill up our tank. Low fill, yes, I already know. Now, come over here, and now all you've got to do is just only press your horn. There you go. And now, wait until it's filled up, okay? As you can see on your left hand side down at the bottom, it's filling up. Just wait for a few seconds, and then now you can leave. So it's, it's simple as that guys, it's really easy to install and really easy to use. So I hope you guys do enjoy the mod. And we're back again, so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod, it's an awesome mod. But like always, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. Now unfortunately, I am not active on my YouTube comments, so I do not comment because I do not get any notifications that you guys are commenting on my videos. So I am more active on my Discord server, so if you need help or support fast, then I will help you guys inside my Discord server and I will leave my Discord server link inside my description below and make sure that you guys do verify the PC modding support server so with that said if you guys did enjoy this video or if this video was helpful then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials and I will see you all on my next video thank you for watching peace and I'm out Bye.